Hey there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to learn how to use the pen tool by drawing a quick wave. Now one of my students in an online university course that I'm teaching is working on a logo and she emailed me recently saying, hey, how do I draw a wave using the pen tool, for example, in Illustrator? And this is a fun way to learn how the pen tool works. So go ahead and open up Adobe Illustrator and over on the tools panel, Go ahead and click the pen tool, or you can press P on the keyboard. And so if I wanted to draw a simple wave up here, what I would do is just click and then click and drag and then click and drag. Now at this point, if you're new to the pen tool, you might run into a problem. So if I just click back here and then click back here, it doesn't look like a wave. We don't have that curve at the top and a sudden turn back to the left and then over to the right over here. It doesn't look right for a wave, right? So I'm going to press Control Z on the PC or Command Z on the Mac. And so back at this step, what we wanna do is hover over that anchor point, the most recent anchor point here, and click. Now that will reset the angle. Notice that it's not like a car on a path, like a roadway anymore, where it would just keep going a little bit, then come back over. Now I can really decide what angle to set this next path at. So I'm going to go over here, click and drag, and then click and drag if we want, or just click. And that smart guide was showing me that it was aligned with this first anchor point. So now we have a simple wave. And we can adjust the fill color, of course, over here. If I just double click, that's one way to do it. And then if I double click on the stroke here, I can set it to a different color if we want a different color. All right, and I can increase the thickness. And there you go. Now, let's try that again. Now, the technique is the same, even if, for example, we're just drawing with no fill and just a stroke or a line here, for example, the path. So just go ahead and click here where it says default, or you can press D on the keyboard. And I'm just going to click this fill and set it to none right here. And so now, with the pen tool, I'm going to click, click and drag, click and drag, and then again, remember we are going to click there. We're not going to just click over here. We have to reset that angle, click and drag, and then click and drag. And I added another point in there by accident. So, and we don't have to have, close it out like that. We can just press escape. So what if we want to remove one of these anchor points? For example, there's one right here that we don't really need for this wave. What I can do is hover over it with the pen tool selected and see how it turns into that little minus sign. If I click, it will remove it. And we can also move those anchor points around after the fact. If we select the direct selection tool right here and I just click right on the anchor right away, I can move it around. I can change the angle and I can also move the paths. So we can adjust that wave after the fact. Now, another way to add or remove anchor points is to use those specific tools. Now, you might notice that we don't have it here on this toolbar. This is the basic toolbar. So if we go to Window and then Toolbars and then Advanced, and we click and hold on the Pen Tool area, there we have Add Anchor Point Tool and Delete Anchor Point Tool. So we could add anchor points if we wanted to, and we could delete them on that path. And there's another way to draw a wave where we use the Pathfinder panel. So go ahead and go to Window and then Pathfinder if you don't have that panel up. And let's select the Pen tool. And let's just click, click and drag, click and drag. And for this example, instead of resetting the angle, I'm going to just click and drag something like that. All right. And if I wanted to close it out, I would want to click right here, the most recent anchor point and go over there. 
So for example, I'll click right there, that resets the angle, and then I'll click right there. All right, so I'm going to add a fill here. So I will flip these, the fill and the stroke by clicking this double-sided arrow, and I will just change this to some blue color. All right, and so for this example, what I'm going to do is draw an ellipse. So I'm going to click and drag Instead of holding shift where it would have to be a perfect circle, I'm not pressing shift on the keyboard. And something like that, we can adjust it as needed, but let's go ahead and click and drag that over. Again, this is the ellipse tool. If you click and hold on to the rectangle tool, you can select the ellipse tool or just press L on the keyboard and we can draw that out. So it helps if this is a different color. So I'm going to set this to some other kind of color so it's obvious where it is. And I'm just looking at this shape as I'm bringing this over. And I think I need to make this a bit larger, something like that. Making sure it covers up the wave right there. And I'll actually move that over just a little. Stretch that out a little bit. So I'm happy with this. What I can do is click and drag around both of these shapes with the selection tool. And with both of them selected, over on the Pathfinder panel, let's click this second option here under Shape Modes. It's called Minus Front. So if I click that, it will subtract that top shape from that bottom shape. That's just another way to draw a wave. So practice using the pen tool. Drawing a wave can be a fun way to learn how to use the pen tool and how to reset that angle when we're drawing a path. If you like this lesson, be sure to subscribe. I feature Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign tutorials, as well as tutorials relating to graphic design, photography, and other forms of visual communication and digital media. Thanks.